Video of a person picking up American flags on WashU's campus and putting them in what appears to be trash bags is making its rounds on social media. I spoke to students and have a response from the university about the incident. Video of Washington University student Fatal al Kilnali seen picking up American flags on 9-11. Kind of disrespectful. According to the student newspaper, al Kilnali serves as the chairman of the Student Senate Finance Committee at the school. Al Kilnali's actions have led Washington University College Republicans demanding some sort of action be taken by the school. The group placed nearly 3,000 flags at Mud Field to commemorate the 9-11 attacks. The school released a statement saying it is disappointed to hear about the 9-11 disruption and condemns Al Kilnali's actions. But no disciplinary measures have been taken. Ben Wagner is one of the now millions of people who have seen the video. In general, it's not great to get riled up over incidents like this of one person, uh, and I'm happy to see that it hasn't become a major issue on campus so far. Grace Halupnik saw it too. I didn't see it until this morning. My roommate showed me. I was kind of shocked because I thought the flags were like a nice touch, so I didn't really know why they did that. So why was Al Kilnali doing this on the day one of the most unforgettable tragedies happened in U.S. history? We reached out to Al Kilnali for comment, but have not heard back. According to the student newspaper, though, Al Kilnali says, any memorial of 9-11 that does not contend with these facts is not only incomplete, but it also amplifies pro-imperialist sentiment and actively disrespects those who have died because of American invasion. There are respectful ways to voice one's um, discontent with, with American foreign policy since then, uh, and there are disrespectful ways to do it. Uh, and I think removing flags on 9-11 for a memorial intended to honor the victims of 9-11 is definitely a disrespectful way to do it. In St. Louis, Ty Hawkins, Fox 2 News. No at 9-11.